60 Cycle Hum features a mix of products that were purchased or provided and content that is a mix of sponsored, paid, unpaid, and Patreon funded. Use your eyes, ears, and common sense to come to your own conclusions. I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm going to guide you through this absolute beast of a fuzz pedal, the Jupiter Effects Warlow. It says on the front, fuzz monstrosity. Jupiter does not joke around with their fuzzes. Every fuzz they do feels just a couple degrees more brutal than any other fuzz you've ever tried before. To get inside their mind a little bit, I've got some stickers here from Jupiter that came with this. The only weapon I need is my fuzz pedal. Less talent, more volume. You could carve that on my gravestone. Oh man, yeah, I relate to that. The classic, F your ears. <laughs> I love, I love Jupiter's mentality. I love their humor. I love the personality they put into their pedals. So let's try this thing out. Um, you can tell, by the art on it, that this is a take on a big muff style circuit. To my ear, it sounds very unique compared to a regular muff. Later on in the video, I will compare it to this op amp electro harmonics uh, pumpkin pie here, and you will hear that it is quite a bit different. It still has that big muff kind of like grit character and response to your playing, but there's something about it that's more like hollow and brutal and nasty and just dangerous feeling. I'm also gonna have some fun shoving some earplugs in my ears and turning my amps up so you can hear what this sounds like hitting a really hot amp. Not all the way hot, but pretty dang hot. Hotter than I usually run my amps. So anyways, here is my dry signal from my Revelator here. It's got humbuckers in it. Mm -hmm. So pretty, right? All right, here is the Warlow. I was worried my heavy riffing wasn't scary enough, so I had to throw in some Munsters for good measure. <laughs> so let's check out the range of some of these controls, then I'll do some of that other stuff that I want to show off.
There it is with the sustain all the way up. Just full blown nasty distortion. All the way down. You can hear that it has that muff character as I go through the dial. But there's something extra to it. It's got this extra brutal thing going on. And I can't tell if it's the gain or the EQ or something going on with like the power sagging or something like that, but it's one of those fuzzes that feels like it's sucking all the air out of the room and you're like on the edge of suffocating because you're playing heavy, doomy, fuzzy riffs. There's a ledge right about there. And you cross it and things get wild. <laughs> All right, now the range of the tone control. Super heavy and dark. But boy, does it get bright in a hurry. I think those hyper bright sounds will make a lot more sense when I'm hitting a uh, hot past the edge of breakup amplifier, which is kind of the Jupiter mentality. They want you to play these loud. They want you to hit an amp that's already super loud, super hard with this fuzz pedal. So I think all that extra high end is gonna make a lot more sense in that sort of scenario. But I think it sounds great into a clean amp right about there. Like this is the sweet spot range for me, somewhere in that territory. You can tell that there's plenty of volume on tap. I'm not gonna turn it all the way up right now, but yeah, I think that's unity right now actually might be a bit above unity. So yeah, if I turn this up, it's gonna be crazy loud. Okay, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay, now I wanna show off how it sounds against this EHX pumpkin pie here. Both of these are technically op amp big muff style fuzzes, but they really do sound pretty different to me. 
you could hear about this and read like, oh, that's an op amp muff. And I don't think you're getting the whole picture. It's got its own personality. It's got its own character. It has its own sound. It might have started as a muff, but it's become something different. All right, we'll do similar settings. different kind of EQ character there. And it's not just the EQ, like the game character is different. It has this like squishy, nasal, brutal, like like demon screaming sort of tone versus the very kind of dark and soft, muffy sound of the actual electroharmonic fuzz here. There's more mid quality to the pumpkin pie over here. You know I've gotta do that one pumpkin's riff that I know. I only know one Smashing Pumpkins riff, <laughs> and this is it. If you're watching Billy Corgan, thank you for writing that so I have a riff to test big muffs. Absolutely a more mid-scooped quality to this. The game character is different. It's more spitty and squishy and nasty. I'm not doing this to say that one is better or worse than the other. I just want you to understand that they are different. If you're shopping for this and you bought this, you might be disappointed. If you're listening to this and think that you can get it out of this, you will be disappointed. It's one or the other. <laughs> it's two different flavors of fuzz. You know what, maybe I should leave them both plugged in for the volume test. I thought I was going to pull out the pumpkin pie. But no, it would be interesting to see how this holds up through a hot amp versus this. So I'll set that up now. It's earplug time, guys. I know that's not as dangerous as these stickers want me to live. But uh, I'm not going to blow out my hearing <laughs> recording a demo. I like to use these erasers. This is my preferred earplug. I get the small size because I, I got tiny little ear canals. All right, I've got the amps turned up to six, which is nice and loud. I'm glad I've got the earplugs in. That should give us a little bit of tube crispiness. It should accentuate the mid uh, frequencies quite a bit more. And it'll be interesting to hear how these fuzz pedals hit the amps. <laughs> bit of grit there. I can really feel it in room. Like the feeling of a loud amp is different than a quiet amp. It's so satisfying. Which one should I start with? Let's start with the, uh, the pumpkin pie here.
right. Now the Warlow. the earplugs jammed in that's freaking loud oh my gosh that's so loud Ugh. i should i should dime them i should really hit those amps just really got to make sure those are in there just blasting the amps that way where a lot of the character of the amp is coming in and being responsible for what you're hearing to me there's a very big difference between these two um i think the warlow does a better job of holding up on the low end and maintaining clarity. I think when you're not hitting a hot amp, it can tend to sound a bit mid-scooped, but into that hot amp, the mids fill out, they push a little bit harder, and it makes more sense at high volumes. Where this, it kind of gets flubby, it kind of gets too dark. I mean, I'm gonna have to judge how, uh, you know, what I feel about it in post, 
editing Ryan will chime in, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I think this just holds up better as a loud muff into a loud amp sort of scenario. Of course, it's all very subjective. Use your own ears, make your own decisions. You know your rig. I don't know your rig, I know my rig. So you've got to make decisions based on what sounds you want to make and you know what these things are going to be feeding through. All right. Baritone. <laughs> Let's play out with some baritone. Even though I introed with baritone, it's always fun to hit fuzzes with baritones, right? Maybe I should do these in stereo. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Stereo fuzzes now. going for there <laughs> but it was a bunch of fun hey jupiter effects stereo fuzz is fun maybe you should make a stereo warlow i'm just saying there's there's room for a row of three more knobs right here stereo big muff style fuzz for splitting into two amps and this sounds huge Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Always remember, less talent, more volume. The only weapon I need is my fuzz pedal. And honestly, you know what? F*** your ears. <laughs> Bye everyone. Stay grounded.